Looking back on the past year, you, the member organizations of CI, and our loyal supporters have made a tremendous difference for consumers around the world. Our thanks to Helen McCallum, who served as our superb director general during the first half of the year, and we are delighted to have Amanda Long, who already has made an amazing difference in her first six months on the job. There have been many successes in our work as the global voice of consumers over the past year. In May, CI issued a call for action at the World Health Assembly for a global convention to protect and promote healthy diets. The global reaction has been tremendous. CI members, independent health experts, influential UN figures, and others have come out in support of a global framework similar to that created to curtail smoking. It will have a major impact on the lives of billions of people who face ill health as a result of consuming too much food high in fat, sugar, and salt. We've also seen significant progress in CI's efforts to update and secure a strong set of UN guidelines for consumer protection. Changes are needed to reflect the real challenges consumers face in the 21st century and a need not just to strengthen the guidelines but to actively get them implemented. CI has commitments to include a permanent UN task group to promote and monitor government implementations of the guidelines. On World Consumer Rights Day on 15 March, over 90 CI member organizations all over the world took part in CI's call on cell phone providers to fix our phone right and provide consumers with a fair deal. Going forward now, CI needs to address fundamental strategic questions on how, in a rapidly changing, increasingly globalized world, can we best make the consumer movement relevant and immediate in people's daily lives? Among other things, this means embracing huge new opportunities in the digital age. With the explosive growth of collaborative technologies, social media, crowdsourcing, and other changes in the environment in which CI operates, we must develop forward-looking strategies so CI can be ever more powerful and successful in the years ahead. My thanks to all of CI's members for your good work and strong support of the past year. I'm looking forward to a great year ahead.